Jonah was has many weaknesses, but what concerns us today is his prayer. How did it make him such a great prophet? How did it save him from the whale and death? And how did he become such a great prophet through his prayers? He somehow became like Jesus Christ. Nations repented thanks to his words, and the Lord himself gave him credit for it. Before we go any further, remember that the most beautiful prayers in the Bible or in the life of a person appear in difficult circumstances. The strongest prayers in the history of mankind, the history of the Bible, the history of the saints, and in your own history come in difficult times and dark circumstances. In fact, he didn't pray deeply until he got inside the whale, which is, of course, a terrifying experience. Imagine a whale opening its mouth and devouring him. This is a very difficult moment as he's swallowed inside the whale's tummy and discovers that he has not yet died. Does he know what's going to happen next under that utter darkness and terrible smell? Will the whale digest him? It was never easy for him to scream and pray inside the whale's belly, but he did, and it was a beautiful prayer. That reminds us of Daniel, who spent the whole night among lions and prayed in the lion's dead. My God sent his angel and shut the, lo- the lion's mouths so that they have not hurt me. Daniel 6.22 The most beautiful prayers that can be heard are from St. Paul inside a Roman prison. When we read in chapter 3 of Ephesus, we find the spirit of prayer that he is praying with is just utterly beautiful. Even though he is in prison awaiting his execution. Or, for example, in the Philippian prison, when he prayed and an earthquake occurred. We also remember Jesus' Gethsemane prayer, a very touching prayer, with tears and sweat like great drops of blood. So when difficult days come, this is an experience of prayer that will never come again in your life. Very difficult days can summon prayers that you'll remember throughout your entire life. Those prayers, at those moments, can actually be your truest prayers. The ones that finally get counted in your balance. That night, that hour, that crisis is the one that by prayer truly counts in heaven. The three boys' best prayers, which are sung during the nighttime praises in the third hose, are those said in the fiery furnace. We did not hear of any other prayers of theirs, although they were men of prayer. So remember, when the difficult days come, it is your chance to build up your balance in heaven by praying, and you'll spontaneously pray beautifully, without even trying, because under extreme distress you will find that the words will just be coming out on their own. We read about the rivers of Babylon in in the psalm, saying, We wept when we remembered Zion, Psalm 137.1. They were praying with tears because they are in captivity, and when they said to them in captivity, Sing us one of the songs of Zion, they wept and said, We cannot do that. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? But their prayers were beautiful. 